What's going on everybody? Cole Simonson here and today we're talking about one of my favorite species of animals to hunt and that's the North American pronghorn. Uh, these guys are absolutely ridiculous to hunt. They're fast, they're smart, their uh, eyesight's absolutely incredible and you have to hunt them in the open plains. It makes for an absolutely difficult hunt but so much fun and we're actually going to talk about how to field judge these animals uh, so you can make sure that you're one taking a mature buck and two taking a buck that will actually be a trophy for you because I know a lot of people actually travel to hunt these animals. So we're going to get into it here and I'm going to compare two of my favorite bucks and at the end I'm going to have you guys guess which one's bigger. So um, why don't you hit the like button in there and we will get started. Now first thing I do when I'm field judging these antelope is I go off of their eye. If the base of their horn is the same width as their eye, you have decent mass. That's um, at least a finger around mass. Now, if that mass actually continues up all the way to the bottom of their cutter, you might really want to start looking at this antelope. As you can see, both of these antelope have decent mass all the way up to their cutters. So that's the first thing I look at is their mass. Next, we're going to go to the actual length of the uh, horn itself. Now, antelope have extremely long ears. So that is a great reference to take a measurement from. If their ear looks like it can double on their horn, you can put two ears on one horn and it'll be that size. You're looking at anywhere from a 12 to a 14 inch buck, if not bigger, which is really nice to have. Uh, length does play a little bit of role in scoring these. So you want, you don't wanna, miss out on that. You want to look at their ears and see if you can't double it up. Um, and that'll give you a decent bump in your score. Next, we're going to actually go and look at the mid mass here. If their mass is extremely thick right below the prong, that's definitely another indication of a very nice mature buck. After that, we're going to look at their cutter here. Um, with the measurements in Boone and Crockett, you measure from the back of their horn to the tip of the cutter. So the cutter length will give you a nice bump in score too. As you can see, this buck over here doesn't have great cutters on him, but this buck does. Um, so most likely, if we put these two head to head in scoring, this buck will probably beat out this one just because bigger cutters usually mean bigger mass around the um, this quarter of the buck. So that's a good indication on your mass also. If it has large cutters, you're gonna get a larger mass on the lower quarter of this horn here. Uh, after that, we move right above the prong and if you notice how this horn is actually continues its mass all the way up and down to the tip, that's another good example of a nice buck. Uh, this buck only really doesn't continue his mass. He really starts tapering off towards the end of his horn here. Uh, that'll definitely not boost your points all that much when it comes to the final measurements. Uh, also, a lot of people look for the heart in the antelope, which if I take these off here, okay, a lot of people will look for an antelope that's kind of shaped like this. Now given that usually means he's a pretty good antelope, uh, but I don't get those a lot in my area that I hunt, so I can't really go off the heart shape. And a lot of times that heart shape will cut down on your width score 
because there is a measurement between here and here and here and here that Boone and Crockett takes for your width. So like a, just about any other animal, a little bit wider is a little bit better. Now after we get done doing all that, I do have one last method, and I do this with all my animals, is the HS method. If, <laughs> if that buck makes you say, holy shit, it's a nice buck. And you usually, even after you take that buck, are going to say, HS as soon as you walk up to it. It's that is the greatest uh, Scoring in my opinion is if it makes you say HS then it is a nice buck Because that's what comes to your mind a, a nice buck is a nice buck to you Don't let anyone tell you oh, it's small. Oh, it's, it should it could have used a couple years Everyone has a different definition of a nice buck. So don't let anyone knock on your animal. Especially your first or a animal that you're proud of and you worked hard for. Now, like I said at the beginning of the video, I, got, I want you guys to comment below on what you think these two score. I mean, I really can't give anything away or else I would, but... It's kind of just for bragging rights. I know what they score, but if you guys can comment below and tell me what they score, give me a close enough guess, I'll definitely give you a shout out on Instagram. Um, also, if you aren't following me on Instagram, follow me because uh, I put up random things about my antelope, antelope and elk and deer all the time, guessing what they score. So if you guys like those games, I play them every once in a while. Uh, the link is in my bio and I have the clickable tab in my uh, on my channel up in the top right corner but I appreciate you guys coming by and listening I hope you guys learned a lot if you have any questions about how to field judge antelope elk deer um, uh, any species in Wyoming really uh, I can at least help or point you in the right direction. So I appreciate you guys coming to watch. Uh, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I post something. And I hope you guys have a great hunting season and good luck.